Today, fucked up by moaning NSFW. NSFW. My girlfriend and I do not own a dryer, we hang our clothes to dry. I am short, so I have to get a chair to reach the clothesline. I stood up on the chair, reached for the clothesline and suddenly I was falling. I banged my leg on the chair on the way down, landed straight on my tailbone, then my head smacked back on the linoleum. This actually knocked the breath out of me for a moment and then I started to moan. I was in so much pain, I couldn't believe how badly my ass hurt. The moans I was emitting were deep and guttural. I couldn't contain them. I moaned my girlfriend's name in hopes that she'd hear me from the other room, I knew she was deeply asleep. Nothing. I laid for a few moments, sweating from the pain. My cat started licking my face, meowing, looking concerned. I crawled to the bedroom, my tailbone throbbing. Barbie? I hurt myself. My girlfriend woke up and rushed to my side. She put me in bed, brought me an ibuprofen and an ice pack. When I asked her why she didn't hear me in kitchen, her eyes widened. She said she had heard my moans in her sleep, and thought I was masturbating. She apologized profusely and we had a good laugh. Too long didn't read. I fell and was moaning for my girlfriend in pain. She heard me and thought I was masturbating thinking about her so she went back to sleep. Ike how recent this happened, but since you landed on your coccyx, you should get it checked out ASAP. I'll go see doc if the pain is persistent, but I believe it's just bruised, along with my pride. Appreciate it though. That's sweet. I bet she rolled over with a smile and a snuggly warm feeling and nestled right down into bed, for a peaceful, self-affirmed sleep. You little monster, I thought you were masturbating. I am laughing tears. I'm still laughing. So basically Op is a loud masturbator. Props to your GF for tolerating that. Today I fucked up by accidentally kidnapping a kid. Today I was picking my son and daughter from school. I had a crying infant in the car and was already annoyed. My son was talking to me but I was too distracted trying to calm down the baby, we were parked outside the school. I just said yay, yay? Once they were in I drove home. It's a quick drive less than 5 minutes but the crying baby made it seem longer. We got home. I immediately fed and changed him and put him down for a nap. Afterwards I started cleaning and cooking. My daughter was watching YouTube in the kitchen and I could hear my son playing in his room. Normal day. I called my son into the kitchen to ask him to taste the pasta sauce. When he came in a boy who I never met was with him. The conversation went sorta like this. Me, who is this? My son, it's Adam. You said he could play at our house. Me, when? Son, when you got me from school I asked if Adam can play and you said yay. I got him from school at 2.45. It was now almost 7 and dark out. Adam didn't have a cell phone nor did he tell his parents he was over here. He didn't even know his parents' numbers. I called the school. No answer? Then I texted my son's teacher. She was at the school with the police, no idea why no one answered. Apparently Adam was supposed to take the bus home after school. When he didn't get off the bus the parents went looking for him. They don't speak English well and the teacher speaks their native language, so she was acting as an interpreter. Long story short. The police, teacher and Adam's parents came by. I explained everything. Adam was in a bit of trouble but everything worked out in the end. Too long didn't read, I was distracted and brought an extra kid home from school. Thanks for the silver smile. Yay, yay, but how did the pasta sauce taste? I legit thought you were going to say you shouted on your son out his room and it wasn't your son. I thought you had picked up the wrong kid at school. I read the first half of your post thinking you were talking shite. LOL. I thought this same thing would happen. Like he ushers a kid into his car who is trying to tell him, hey, I'm not your kid. And he's paying no attention, so he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, just get in. So the child does what the adult tells him to. This could have gone way worse lmao nice one op. Definitely. 
It's funny now but I bet his parents were terrified. I've been suckered into kidnapping before, too. Little turds, 8 and 10-ish, knocked on my door saying my neighbor asked me to drop them off at the skating rink. When I talked to neighbor on my return, she didn't know those kids at all. Scared the hell out of me. I don't interact with kids at all anymore. So who were those kids? And do your neighbors randomly ask you to take random kids somewhere? I am a mom and can totally understand how this happened. I read this three times and laugh my head off each time. I am getting nothing done at work today. Today I fucked up by going on a better date with my daughter than I have with wife in 8 years. Let me, 32M, start by explaining my use of date. My so, 39F, let's call her K and I have two children, one let's call O is 10M and C is 11F. About once a month or so K and I have what we call a bonding day with each kid individually. Today was my day with C and her day with O. O wanted to stay home and watch shows I don't particularly like and play Lego. It sounds like a great time. C wanted to go ice skating and she wanted me to pick an activity as well. K is very strict with the plan kind of person. I like to have an idea and run with it. So how was our day? It started at lunch at a faux place because I really wanted a pork barn me while there she wanted a Starbucks and I had a leftover gift card so I sent her over. We ate lunch on the way to the ice skate ring with the plan to do my activity next. After two hours of ice skating, we were both exhausted and I didn't want to start mine yet because I needed to sit for a while. So I thought I haven't had a mani in a long time that sounds nice, we head over to a local salon and she talks me into a mani slash pedi. After a relaxing mani slash pedi, we head to my activity, the gun range. I shot my gun and rented her a pistol 22 because I wanted her to be more comfortable with the size of the gun. It went awesome she had a great time and was so proud of her paper targets that she wanted to keep to bring home to show her mom. We had a tough time all day trying to figure out what we wanted for dinner. Finally, we came up with a great plan, Olive Garden, because we knew her mom was not a fan and would feel like she missed out. While waiting for our table she was watching silly YouTube videos while I texted her mom pictures and videos of what we had been up to so far. After she saw them she said I feel like it's good we don't do this on the regular. You guys are having a nicer date than you and I are going to have on our anniversary. This is when I realized I fooked up. She wasn't wrong, it wasn't on purpose and almost no planning went into and yet somehow she was right. That day put together was better than anything we have planned for our upcoming anniversary. Got home to a so that is understandably annoyed. Let's just say the couch looks pretty friendly tonight. TL doctor I took my daughter on a wonderful day out that blows away what I have planned for my so for our anniversary, now I'm gonna have to sleep on the couch tonight. You didn't fuck up by having a great time with your daughter. A great daddy slash daughter day is what life is all about, and fuck anyone that challenges your right to it. That said, it really sounds like you and your wife need to start communicating better. You basically had a day with your daughter that on paper your wife wouldn't have enjoyed, and now she's jealous of it. Marriage is about compromise, and two people finding a life that suits neither of them perfectly as an individual, but works great for them as a couple. For example, 2019 saw my 16th wedding anniversary, and it's been the hardest year of my married life. My wife and I were growing in very different directions. After a lot of serious talks, she's working on being more motivated, and I've been putting a lot more effort into dating her again. Hell, I've forced myself to learn to love Taylor Swift, her favorite artist, just to give us something to bond over. Just do something better for your next date with your wife. Ask her beforehand if she wants to wing it or plan it out. Don't reduce your time with your daughter, increase it with your wife. This is a sweet today I fucked up. I know you're not here for advice, but my so is the go with the flow guy, and I am comparatively the planner. Because some things require reservations. And advance tickets because damn it there was a 30% off Groupon. And appropriate footwear because now I'm in heels and you want to spontaneously go to a driving range and it just doesn't work that way. What really helps is when he at least lets me plan my mindset. Just say hey, let's have a spontaneous day my way. 
We won't do anything that jeans and walking shoes can't handle. There will be lunch and dinner, but besides that let's see where the day takes us. And then hopefully you don't have to prep the couch to have an awesome cool day when your turn with O comes around. Smile or if you do, post back. This really spoke to me and made me smile. I think because she's normally a converse and jeans kind of person I didn't think about the other stresses I might be overlooking. Thanks. You treated your daughter to something special and wonderful that she is always going to remember. It's not going to matter how much money you spent or what exactly you did, she's going to look back on this and remember the quality time and the memories you made. That's incredibly important and priceless. I hope that your argument with your wife won't put a damper on how great of a day you and your daughter both had. As for your wife, maybe sit down and have a talk about her feelings regarding your relationship and lack of alone time together. Then maybe plan a surprise for her for your anniversary. I hope everything works out okay. And props to you for being an awesome dad. You shouldn't have to sleep on the couch. Just say, you're right honey, we should do more fun things together without the kids, especially. On our anniversary. 